guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of Budgie the Rock. Yeah, you're probably wondering, just as I said in the Pop Team Epic video, um, why this did not come out yesterday. Because I wanted this to come out yesterday, but at the end it came out today. Um, so, long story short, while Spy Family was editing, as I said in the Spy Family video, I took a nap. I did not get up until like 6.30 in the evening. Um, my mom went to go somewhere, we went somewhere, I hung out with my girlfriends for like a good couple hours, I literally just finished hanging out with them, but like a, almost a good hour ago, um, and I was like, okay, I need to get started on this stuff so I can do other stuff, and then I have to go to bed, <laughs> even though I don't want to go to bed, because I'm not sleepy, and I don't want to go to work tomorrow, but I have to. Life sucks. <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode four in three, two, one. One. Go. I wish it would rain so freaking bad here. I mean, God. But it is starting to get cold, which is good. I do like it when it is cold. I, I think I like it when it's hot or cold all year round, but I also love it when it rains because, ugh. Mm hmm because you're the only good singer. It's okay. It, it's multitasking. You, you got this, boo. Uh oh. Mm hmm So, you know, you just have to do both. I mean, you could be like Aya from Pastel Ballet and just sing and dance during, you know, the interludes, but no. <laughs> be more like Kasumi and Ron. Um... I can't put Yukina in that field because Yukina doesn't play an instrument. She just she is the instrument. <laughs> That's a Kirby move. <laughs> so can we just call Butchie like Shy Kirby? <laughs> we have Kirby and Shy Kirby, and the Kirby's love each other. Yay! Hmm? How can we be more band like? That's a good question. Oh my god, throat. Yep, we gotta talk about more business things. Okay. I think so. It's cute though. 
Yeah. Mm. Yes. Right. Maybe t shirts. Mm hmm. See, I don't know about the fan club just yeah. I mean, well, technically, yeah, because, you know, the Insta. So, the Insta would definitely be the fan club thing. So, yeah. I mean, it makes also sense. Like, maybe they should do YouTube videos, but then that would just expose Bochi as, you know, who she is on her YouTube channel. She's right. <laughs> but she's like, shit. And like, oh god, no. Sorry, Butch, you got this baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> My poor girl, she can't get laid. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I understand the deal. Like, if it's the same thing for Love Live or any other ILS series, they're like, yes, you need to write your own lyrics. I'm like, how do I do that? I have no inspo. There's nothing in it. Okay, there's something. Oh. See, if you write depressing lyrics, she's still going to kind of make it like happy, happy, joy, joy ask. Um, but just, you know, speak from your heart. of anything. Just, you know, to hang out. That too. You know, more to get to know each other, you know? Mm-hmm. Did everybody bring, like, costumes and makeup, though? Ha <laughs> ha. 
So you just want to do it out and about. That's okay, too. I mean, biggest thing is you just got to watch your people. I mean, do everybody looks good. Is it going to be that Jumping Girls picture that we see in the opening? I mean, because the title is called Jumping Girls, so... We're talking about Kita's outfit. I love it, but like, like <laughs> the baby's outfit look good. The stairs would be perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but that would have been like so much stuff that you have to lug. True. Yeah, she wouldn't have her drums with her. Yeah. Ain't that a little unfair? Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I think Bochi found something as well, girls. <laughs> As B and C short for Barnes and Nobles, <laughs> Barnes and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> Butchie, baby. That's because you were in love with her. Butchie. <laughs> Girl, nah, she glitching. <laughs> Bochy! No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, she really glitching out. Y'all saw that? Is it Bochizilla? <laughs> Touching the word monster. Oh my god. What? Well, hey, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Whether it's post, um, 
TikToks, even when I do TikTok like that, I just watch TikTok or t psh, freaking YouTube. Like, honestly, yeah, going on social media it is, once again, like a drug. And when you get to whatever, it's, you want more of it. It's super addicting. And you try to do everything in your power to get more. But you always just got to remember to have a place as then where it's just like, mm, knowing your true self and your feelings. And don't always do it for the money. Do it because you love it. The money is like the third, fourth, fifth thing to worry about. Yourself, you put yourself first. And then you put the money as like five. Yep. Oh, oh God. No, bullet you. It's okay, baby. Should we try again? There you go. He's like, yeah, it's a happy thing. <laughs> I mean, it's good, though. She did a good job. Mm hmm. Yeah, you need that song. Oh, Bochi. No! I mean, dang. Bro, always disappearing. Poor baby. Maybe playing something would help. No, 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 honey. Where is she? Oh, she's at a cafe. <laughs> Go on, Bochi. It's okay, baby. Oh, Jesus. That's like me. Like, okay. I have to, like, no. What I used to be like, I hated talking on the phone and making delivery orders for, like, my, like, food or whatever. Now I'm kind of a little better at it, but, like, early, earlier, I would always be like, no, you're making the call, mom. I'm not talking. I don't feel like talking, whatever. I get freaking nervous. Now I'm like, I'm coming, bitch. <laughs> I mean, because she was eating. Oh, Jesus. Go on, Bolty. It's okay. She won't judge you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how she just got to the point. No, she said it was good, Bochi!
Bugs. They all best girls. I love them all equally. Mm -hmm. You write it based on your feelings and your heart. Don't worry about everyone else's always opinion on it. Girl, what if she ain't got money? All right, just this once. Yeah, take your time. Get home safely. Good job. <laughs> Yay! Let's hear it, baby! Oh, you got bags on your eyes. Have you been up all night? Oh, honey. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. And that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Well, wh did it look like one eye was bigger than the other, or was that just me? I mean, because she is sleep deprived, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope so, too. Oh, baby, she made like oh, <laughs> that's oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> she covered her whole room in what the same picture, my girl. <laughs> I, I mean, I would have expected her to use like all the pictures from the photo shoot that they did. Excuse me, not just one. <laughs> okay, so here, here's my thing. I love how um, after she, you know, couldn't really think of lyrics and everything, but she had the lyrics done and stuff, and she goes to Rio for, you know, like, uh, but her opinion on it, and how Rio just eventually tells her about her past being in another band and such, and her experience, and how, you know, eventually she quit that band. And I'll, I'll say this, from... Someone who has done research on some of her favorite bands as, like, a assignment for school and stuff. This was, like, one time in high school where I just, I had to do it for, like, a little project and stuff. And it was interesting. I decided to look up my favorite band, Paramore, and their history and stuff. I've never, like, when I looked everything up, I've never seen it where, like, someone has said, like, hey, this music that we're writing, it's not our music. It's not us and everything and, and it's like that. But there have been bands who have eventually been corrupted by, like, whoever. Their managers, the corporation of the um, studio that they're a part of, whether it's Sony, RCA Records, um, so many different-ish. And this not only goes for bands in general, this is, we're talking about boy bands, girl bands, um, sometimes just regular artists, male or female, where 
they end up losing their self in their music and it just becomes at the end of the day just about the money and it's not about like the heart and such and you feel super bad for those people because they're like they put their everything into this and they feel like this like soulless robot trying to get something done and such and this is why most of these artists even today usually end up doing eps like but let's say they're with a company like um they're signed to a record company for like a good two to five years like okay let, let's talk about the people at rca like because like for a while back ago i i watched a video essay about like the something about rca records um in their thing with some of their artists and such most of the artists from that company who have been signed by them eventually do leave and they do eps that is the same thing with the people who with some of the artists like former disney channel stars who have signed up for hollywood records and they're um eventually they leave several years later and then they do eps and it's like that and they want to you know write what they're able to write and such you know because usually the record company the studio whoever they're always saying like let's have you write about this first and then when they come in when the artist band whoever says hey i want to talk about this is that and the third they're like oh that's nice sweetie like we i get that like you want to write about this but no let's focus on this instead and it kind of divides the band from whoever they're with the partner that they're with and it really truly sucks and it happens every single day with whoever gets into the entertainment business i mean it's a it's a cutthroat business trust me whether it's the acting it's the music or it's anything in the business of entertainment because it's just that's the shit that you have to deal with and as someone who still wants to be in that stuff it, it's a you have to have a really thick ass skin you cannot be you know this emotional person you have to like kind of not show your emotions and it's really hard um for whether it's rejection or getting into an argument with someone over that and you're showing your emotions because you're you're in the big leads especially when you're getting money for it and such but damn like oh I'm, I'm glad you know we got to learn a little more about Ro because I mean all four interesting Ro is just like that one girl where I'm like dang I really like you gotta know more but I'm glad that like literally this was a bochi role as week and I love that the backstory was good everything about it was just a really good episode the new ending was interesting even though probably by next week you're going back to the old ending which I ain't mad at but other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode four of Bochi the Rock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all next Saturday. Hopefully, I, I should be able to get this out on time for episode five. Bye, guys.